Chapter 1. The Impact of COVID-19 on the World The COVID-19 pandemic has had an immense impact on the world since its onset in early 2020. With a fast-spreading virus affecting communities around the world, drastic measures were taken to prevent its spread, which resulted in the global economy taking a significant hit. Countries around the world tried their best to slow down the spread of this deadly virus by enforcing nationwide lockdowns. This led to the closure of many businesses, resulting in job losses and the economy facing a significant downturn. Governments around the world had to quickly come up with ways to provide emergency funds to citizens who were struggling due to business closures and wage cuts. International travel came to a complete standstill, and the tourism industry was hit hard. This affected not only airlines, but also companies that solely relied on global tourism. The hospitality industry, which is a significant source of employment in many countries, suffered massive losses, leading to a significant number of job losses. With the absence of international trade, industries that relied on exporting their goods and services could no longer do so. The suspensions and delays in cargo handling due to transport restrictions led to significant losses for many companies worldwide. With no revenue coming in, companies were pushed to cut costs by laying off employees or reducing employees' salaries. As the virus continued to spread, countries worldwide struggled to secure necessary medical equipment and supplies required to combat the pandemic. With countries looking to protect their own citizens first, the global supply chain faced disruption. This led to a shortage of medical supplies that affected different parts of the world, including those countries most affected by the virus. As the world looks to move forward and find ways to adapt to the new normal, it is essential to acknowledge the immense impact COVID-19 has had on the global economy, businesses, and employment. The pandemic has highlighted the global interconnectedness that binds nations together and it is through collective efforts that solutions need to be developed to combat future outbreaks. In conclusion, the COVID-19 pandemic has had an unprecedented impact on the world. Countries have lost millions of jobs, and the global economy has suffered significant losses. International travel, trade, and supply chains were completely disrupted, resulting in a shortage of goods worldwide. With the end of the pandemic still unknown, industries must learn from the lessons provided by this experience and develop effective strategies to mitigate risks associated with global health outbreaks. Question, what are some ways that COVID-19 has affected the global economy? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Environmental Concerns as global temperatures continued to rise, scientists grew increasingly worried about the impact of climate change caused by greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Human activities, particularly the burning of fossil fuels, were the main contributors to this increase of harmful gases. People all over the world spoke out against the damage taking place to the planet, and many actively worked to reduce the impact of human activity on the environment. One such person was a young woman named Maya, who was studying environmental science at university. Maya had always been interested in the natural world and felt a deep connection to the planet. She knew that she wanted to make a difference and was excited to learn about the science behind climate change and how to mitigate its effects. In class, Maya listened intently to the professor as she explained how the Industrial Revolution and human activity had contributed to the increasing concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Fossil fuels, such as oil and coal, were the primary culprits spewing carbon dioxide into the air at an alarming rate. Maya felt a sense of urgency to act. She knew that the consequences of inaction could be devastating for future generations. She decided to take matters into her own hands 
and organize a student group focused on environmental activism. Maya and her fellow students spent countless hours discussing ways to reduce their own carbon footprint and how to encourage others to do the same. They organized campus events to raise awareness about the importance of reducing greenhouse gas emissions and spoke to local officials about the need for more sustainable policies. Their hard work paid off when the university agreed to invest in renewable energy sources to power their buildings. Maya felt proud of their accomplishment, but knew that much more needed to be done. She continued to advocate for change, attending local community meetings, and speaking out about the dangers of climate change. Maya knew that it was up to all of us to take responsibility for our impact on the environment, and that only by working together could we create a sustainable future for ourselves and for generations to come. As the sun began to set on the horizon, Maya stood on a hill overlooking the campus. She took a deep breath and closed her eyes, feeling the cool breeze on her face. She knew that there was still so much work to be done, but she felt a sense of hope knowing that she was not alone in her fight to protect the planet. Question, what is the main cause of climate change? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, Technology Advances As the world becomes more and more technology-driven, new technologies have emerged to revolutionize how we interact with the world. One of the most significant advancements is artificial intelligence AI, which has made remarkable strides in recent years. AI has been used in various industries to simplify processes, automate tasks, and enhance decision-making. As algorithms evolve, AI will have the power to transform every aspect of our lives, from how we work to how we spend our leisure time. Another groundbreaking innovation is virtual reality VR, which takes users on immersive experiences in simulated environments. From gaming to education, VR has the potential to transform how we learn, connect, and experience the world around us. But perhaps the most revolutionary technology of all is blockchain, which is changing the way we think about data storage and management. Blockchain is a decentralized, immutable ledger that is used to record transactions securely. It has the potential to revolutionize everything from financial services to supply chain management and countless other fields. As these new technologies continue to develop, the question of how they will impact our future becomes more pressing. Some experts predict that they will bring about a world of unprecedented prosperity and opportunity, while others warn that they could exacerbate existing inequalities and pose new risks to individual freedom and security. Despite these concerns, there is no doubt that the future holds exciting possibilities for those who embrace these innovations. By harnessing the power of AI, VR, blockchain, and other cutting-edge technologies, individuals and organizations can unlock new levels of creativity, productivity, and innovation. As we look ahead to the future of technology, it is clear that these new advancements will continue to shape the world in exciting and unpredictable ways. Whether we are at the beginning of a new era of human progress or simply witnessing the early stages of a technological revolution, one thing is certain. The future is full of promise and potential. With the right mindset and the willingness to embrace change, there is no limit to what we can achieve in the age of technology. Question, what are some new technologies that have emerged in recent years? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, Social Issues As soon as Deshan could walk, he was hustling, selling candy on street corners, collecting cans for recycling, doing odd jobs for neighbors. His mom worked double shifts at a nursing home to keep food on the table and a roof over their heads, but it was never enough. Poverty was a constant presence in their lives, as it was for so many in their neighborhood. Despite the challenges, Deshan was a bright student. He loved school and dreamed of becoming a doctor. 
but as he grew older, the realities of economic inequality and discrimination began to weigh on him. He saw friends drop out of school to work minimum wage jobs, often hired under the table, with no benefits or security. He watched as police officers patrolled their streets, treating them with suspicion and contempt. He saw the way the system was rigged against them. Des Hawn's own experiences with discrimination came in more subtle forms. Teachers who underestimated him, counselors who pushed him towards vocational programs instead of college, employers who passed him over for positions he was qualified for. He knew it wasn't fair, but he also knew that there was little he could do to change the system. One day, he saw a flyer for a community meeting about job opportunities and education. The meeting was being organized by a group of activists who were fighting for economic justice in their neighborhood. Deshaun was skeptical, but he decided to attend. What he found at the meeting was a group of passionate, engaged people who were committed to building a better future for their community. They talked about the ways that systemic poverty and discrimination impacted their lives, and they brainstormed solutions for how to address those issues. Deshaun felt inspired and energized by their vision. Over the next few months, he became more involved in the group's work. He helped organize rallies and meetings, he spoke to city council members and school board officials, he even started a blog to raise awareness about the issues they were fighting for. Through it all, he never lost sight of his own dreams of becoming a doctor. In fact, he saw his activism as an extension of that goal away to build a world in which everyone had access to the opportunities and resources they needed to succeed. It wasn't easy. The work was often frustrating and grueling, and there were times when Deshaun felt like giving up. But he believed in the power of community and the importance of standing up for what was right and in the end his efforts paid off. The group's advocacy led to increased funding for education and job training programs in the neighborhood, and Deshaun was accepted to a prestigious university on a full scholarship. As he prepared to leave for college, Deshaun felt a mix of excitement and sadness. He was thrilled to be taking this next step in his journey, but he was also aware of the challenges that lay ahead. He knew that poverty and discrimination were still very real problems in his community and in the world at large. But he also knew that he had a responsibility to continue fighting for change for himself, for his family, and for all those who had been left behind by the system. Question, what are some common causes of poverty? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5. Health Concerns Bill had always been worried about health concerns. It was one of the reasons he became a doctor. So when news of a pandemic outbreak flooded the airwaves, he knew he had to act fast. He went to work immediately, gathering information on the disease and its symptoms. As days passed, the outbreak began to spread rapidly, affecting millions of people worldwide. Bill worked tirelessly, day and night, to find a cure. The disease was aggressive, and it seemed like there was no hope of containing it. At the hospital, the situation was dire. The number of patients rose every minute, and the hospital staff was overwhelmed. Bill could feel his own health deteriorating as he worked to save others. But he couldn't give up. He had a job to do. One day, while taking a break outside the hospital, Bill met a group of people who had lost loved ones to the disease. They were devastated, and their stories broke his heart. Bill knew that he had to find a cure, not just for himself and the patients at the hospital, but for everyone affected by the pandemic. Days turned into weeks, and Bill's efforts finally paid off. His team had developed a cure, and they began administering it to patients. The results were astonishing. The disease was wiped out, and the pandemic was finally over. Bill was exhausted, physically and emotionally drained, but he felt a sense of satisfaction knowing that his hard work had paid off. He had saved countless lives, 
and in doing so, he had made a difference in the world. Despite the success, Bill knew that the fight against disease was far from over. He continued to work on prevention and treatment, and he urged people to take their health seriously. He knew that another outbreak could happen at any time, and he wanted to be prepared. The pandemic had changed the world in many ways. People had become more mindful of their health, understanding that the key to preventing disease was to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Governments had stepped up their efforts to contain outbreaks and to ensure that their citizens had access to proper health care. Bill was proud of what he had achieved during the pandemic, but he knew that there was still more work to be done. He vowed to continue his research to help find a cure for the countless diseases that threatened the well-being of people all over the world. Question, what is a pandemic? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 6, Business and Finance As John sat in his office, he pondered over the current state of the economy. Inflation rates were soaring, and the general price level of goods and services was on the rise. He knew that this would have a severe impact on the consumer purchasing power. With the rise in the cost of living, people would have less disposable income, which would, in turn, affect various businesses. John's company was no exception. With the rise in the cost of raw materials, production costs had increased, and they had to incur significant expenses on marketing campaigns to attract customers. John knew that he had to come up with a plan to combat these challenges. He decided to adopt a three-pronged approach to tackle the problem, reduce expenses, explore new business opportunities, and borrow money to invest in new ventures. Reducing expenses was the first step, and John knew that he had to be ruthless in doing so. He called for a meeting with his team and reviewed all expenses, cutting back on any unnecessary costs. The team agreed to reduce expenses, which helped maintain the profitability of the company. The second step was to explore new business opportunities. John knew that he had to diversify the business portfolio to reduce risks. He decided to invest in businesses that weren't vulnerable to inflation and its effects, such as the healthcare sector. Healthcare was a growing industry, and John saw an opportunity here. He hired a team to research and analyze the market, and invested in healthcare ventures. The third step was to borrow money to invest in new ventures. With banks offering lower interest rates, it was a good opportunity to invest in new projects and ventures. John's company invested in building new production facilities and expanding their reach to international markets. The plan worked, and the company was able to weather the storm of inflation. Sales numbers were up, and the company had diversified its portfolio, which proved advantageous as certain industries faltered under the effects of inflation. John realized the importance of being proactive and not waiting for external factors to impact the business. Managing finances, exploring new markets, and investing in new ventures required strategic thinking and planning. With the help of his team, he was able to find the right balance between expenses, profits, and investments and steer the company towards a successful future. The experience gave John a new perspective on finance, business, and risk management. He learned that businesses have to be adaptable, creative, and innovative. He also discovered the importance of staying informed about changes in the business environment and being prepared to make quick adjustments to deal with any challenges that may arise. In the end, John realized that success in business and finance doesn't come from luck. Instead, it comes from careful planning, hard work, and a willingness to adapt to changing circumstances. Question, what is inflation and how does it affect the economy? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 7, Science and Innovation As a genetic engineer, Dr. Patel had always been fascinated by the potential of genetic material. 
Her goal was always to bring about changes that could make the world a better place, and she believed that she was closer than ever to achieving it. While working in her lab, Dr. Patel came across a new study that proved that genetic material could be used to alter the traits of living organisms. With this research in hand, Dr. Patel could finally achieve the long-term goal of making a significant positive impact through genetic engineering. The next few weeks were intense, as Dr. Patel worked diligently on her experiments. She spent countless hours poring over research while tirelessly tinkering with the genes of her test subjects. Finally, she succeeded in modifying the genetic material in such a way that the organism began to express the desired trait. A bright smile crossed her face as she realized that this was the breakthrough that could change everything. It wasn't long before major corporations and even governments came knocking on Dr. Patel's door. They wanted to take advantage of her newfound technique to engineer everything from livestock to large-scale environmental projects. Despite the increasing attention, Dr. Patel remained true to her passion for science and innovation. She didn't want her breakthrough to be used for individual gain, but rather to benefit humanity as a whole. But as she continued her work, Dr. Patel began to experience a sense of unease. She realized that altering genetic material also meant altering the natural order of things, and as such, there could be unintended consequences. Dr. Patel's concerns were not unfounded. Soon there were reports of genetically modified crops interfering with local ecosystems, leading to the extinction of several varieties of plants and animals. Dr. Patel watched as the very thing she had dedicated her life to became a source of controversy and even fear. Yet, she knew that progress always came with risk, and as a scientist, she was responsible for advocating for caution and regulation. Despite the setbacks, Dr. Patel never gave up on her mission. She continued to work tirelessly and diligently for a future where genetic engineering could be used responsibly to benefit all of humanity. In the end, she knew that the true measure of success would be in how well society could steward the power of genetic engineering to create a better tomorrow. And for that, she was determined to never stop pushing for scientific innovation, but with prudence and attention to the natural world. Question, what is genetic engineering? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 8, Education and Learning. As a student, Sarah had always found it difficult to keep up with her classes due to her busy schedule. She often wished for some alternative learning methods that could make studying more efficient and less time-consuming. That's when a friend suggested online learning. Curious about the idea, Sarah went online to research various platforms that offered these services. She was amazed at the number of options available to her at her fingertips. She signed up for a few courses that interested her, and started to explore the world of online learning. The Internet was a fascinating place, full of information and resources that Sarah could access anytime she wanted. She enjoyed the flexibility and convenience of learning from her own home without having to worry about any deadlines or class schedules. She could review the video lectures as many times as she wanted until she understood the concepts entirely. The interactive assignments were also a great way to test her knowledge and practice what she had learned. Sarah soon became hooked to online learning and started enrolling in more courses. She found herself becoming more knowledgeable and confident with each passing day. She felt empowered and equipped to take on new challenges and explore new horizons. Her newfound love for online learning also had some unexpected benefits. She noticed that it was improving her time management skills as she had to set aside specific hours for studying. Additionally, she was becoming a more independent learner as she was responsible for her own progress and success. Sarah felt that the possibilities for online education were infinite. 
with so many courses available in various fields, from coding to language learning, the Internet had become a treasure trove of knowledge. It was a fantastic way to keep learning and growing, even after graduation. As Sarah continued to excel in her courses, she started to share her experiences with her friends and family. She recommended different platforms and courses to other people, hoping that they too could benefit from this revolution in education. Online learning had opened up a whole new world of opportunities for Sarah, and she was grateful for the chance to discover it. She knew that she would continue to learn and grow through this medium, and that the Internet would always be her ally in the exciting journey of self-education. Question, what is online learning? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 9, International Relations The world was once again on the brink of a global conflict. The impending war had been brewing for years, with violent conflicts erupting in multiple countries and regions around the world. People were terrified, not knowing what the future held for them and their families. Leaders from various countries tried to negotiate peace, but their efforts were fruitless. No one seemed willing to compromise. The tension and animosity between countries grew stronger, and it seemed like war was the only option left. The United Nations held an emergency meeting to discuss the situation. Representatives from all over the world came together to try and find a way to prevent the war. They talked for hours, discussing the implications of the war and the possible ways to resolve the conflict. But, despite their efforts, they could not come up with a viable solution. As the days went by, the situation became increasingly dire. There were reports of troops amassing on both sides, preparing for battle. People started stockpiling food and supplies, afraid that they might not be able to leave their homes once the war began. Finally, on the brink of war, something unexpected happened. A group of citizens from various countries came together and formed a global movement for peace. They believed that war was not the solution to the problem, and that there was always a way to resolve conflicts without resorting to violence. The movement quickly grew and gained support from all over the world. People from different countries and regions started holding peaceful demonstrations, demanding that their leaders find a way to prevent the war. The movement's message was simple. War only brings destruction and pain, and there are always alternative solutions that can be explored. Touched by the movement's message and the overwhelming support it had received, leaders from various countries met again. This time, with the understanding that war was not the answer, they worked together to reach a peaceful agreement. After long negotiations, they finally arrived at a resolution that was acceptable to all parties. The war was averted, and the world let out a collective sigh of relief. The global movement for peace had shown that, despite their differences, people could come together to promote a better world. The resolution was not perfect, but it was a start. It gave people hope that, with the right mindset and efforts, they could avoid conflicts and build a better future for themselves and their children. The citizens who started the global movement for peace became heroes. They had shown that, even in the darkest of times, there is always a way to make a difference. They had proven that change can come from within, and that it's up to each of us to make the world a better place. Question, what is a global conflict? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 10, Entertainment and Media Marsha woke up early on a Wednesday morning feeling excited. She was going to meet one of her favorite Instagram influencers, Sarah, at a calf downtown. Marsha was an avid social media user, and she followed Sarah on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. She admired the way Sarah talked about fashion, beauty, and mental health. Marsha had been using social media for many years. She enjoyed scrolling through her Facebook newsfeed to see what her friends and family members were up to. She also loved retweeting funny memes on Twitter, and watching cooking videos on YouTube. 
Marcia arrived at the calf and ordered a latte. She checked her phone and saw a notification from Sarah's Instagram account. Sarah had posted a picture of herself at the calf, and she had tagged Marcia in the caption. Marcia smiled and walked over to Sarah's table. Hi, Marcia! Sarah exclaimed. It's so great to meet you in person. It's great to meet you too, Marcia said, blushing. I've been following you for years, and I love your content. Sarah grinned. Thank you. It's always nice to hear that people enjoy what I do. The two women spent the next hour talking about social media and the entertainment industry. They discussed the pros and cons of using Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to build a following. Sarah gave Marcia some tips on how to take better photos, write engaging captions, and collaborate with other influencers. After they finished their coffees, Sarah and Marcia took a selfie together and posted it on Instagram. Within minutes, the photo had received dozens of likes and comments from their followers. Marcia felt a rush of excitement as she saw her phone blowing up with notifications. As she walked back to her car, Marcia reflected on her meeting with Sarah. She felt inspired to create her own content and build a following on social media. She knew it would take time, dedication, and hard work, but she was ready for the challenge. Marcia opened Instagram and began scrolling through her feed. She saw that Sarah had posted a story about their meeting and had tagged her again. Marcia smiled and tapped the heart icon to like the post. As she drove home, Marcia thought about how social media had changed the entertainment and media industries. It had given ordinary people like her a platform to share their stories, connect with others, and make a name for themselves. She felt grateful for the opportunities that social media had given her, and she couldn't wait to see where her online journey would take her next. Question, what are some popular forms of social media? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 11, Sports and Recreation it was a beautiful day in Rio de Janeiro. The sun was shining and the crowds were gathering for the World Cup semifinals match between Brazil and Germany. The stadium was full of enthusiastic fans, waving their flags and singing their national anthems. The German team had been playing well throughout the tournament, but the Brazilian team was determined to win on home soil. The two teams had met each other in previous World Cup matches, each time with their own victories. As the game began, the tension in the stadium was palpable. The Brazilian team came out strong, pressuring the German defense with their fast-paced attack. The German team held out well, though, and managed to keep the score level at halftime. The second half of the game was just as intense as the first. Both teams were creating chances, but it was the Brazilian team that finally broke the deadlock with a goal from their star player, Neymar. The crowd erupted in celebration as the Brazilian team took the lead. The German team pushed forward, desperate for an equalizer, but the Brazilian defense held strong. As the final whistle blew, the Brazilian fans erupted in joy. The team had made it to the World Cup final, and the fans were already planning their celebrations. The World Cup is the most prestigious international soccer tournament, bringing together the best teams from around the world. It is a chance for countries to showcase their best players, and for fans to come together and celebrate their national pride. For many players, the World Cup is the pinnacle of their careers. The chance to represent their country on such a global stage is something that every player dreams of. It is a chance to make history and to be remembered as a hero in their home country. The World Cup is steeped in history, with numerous legendary moments that have become highlights of the tournament. Whether it's Diego Maradona's Hand of God goal in 1986, or Zinedine Zidane's infamous headbutt in the 2006 final, the World Cup has provided some of the most iconic moments in soccer history. But ultimately, it is the national pride that makes the World Cup so special. 
for fans around the world it is a chance to come together and support their country, to be part of something bigger than themselves. It represents the best of what sports and recreation can be, bringing together people from different cultures and backgrounds to celebrate their love of the game. Question, what is the World Cup? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 12, Society and Culture as the group made their way through the bustling city streets, they couldn't help but marvel at the cultural diversity on display. Each region they passed through seemed to have its own unique characteristics and traditions, and it was fascinating to see the variety of cultures coexisting in one place. From the bright colors and patterns of the clothing worn by the locals to the tantalizing smells wafting from street food vendors, Every aspect of society seemed to be infused with cultural influences. It was clear that this was a place where people took pride in their heritage and weren't afraid to celebrate it. As they continued on their journey, the group encountered people from all walks of life, each with their own stories and perspectives. Some were more reserved and traditional, while others were outgoing and eager to share their cultural experiences with the newcomers. Despite the many differences they encountered, the group was struck by how interconnected everything seemed. No matter where they went, they found commonalities and shared experiences that transcended cultural boundaries. It was a true testament to the power of society and the way it can bring people together despite their differences. In this region, cultural diversity was celebrated rather than shunned, and the variety of cultures only added to the richness of the society as a whole. As the day wore on, the group found themselves getting increasingly more curious about the various customs and traditions they were encountering. They stopped to talk to locals, to sample regional cuisines, and even participate in some of the cultural events that were taking place around them. By the end of the day, they were exhausted but exhilarated. They had experienced so much in such a short time and had gained a new appreciation for the power and beauty of cultural diversity. As they settled in for the night, the group reflected on all they had seen and experienced. They knew that they had only scratched the surface of what this region had to offer, but they were excited to continue their exploration in the days to come. For all their differences, the people of this society shared a common thread of love and respect for the variety of cultures that made their region so special. And that, the group realized, was what made this place truly unique. Question, what is cultural diversity?